I'm a little bit afraid to leave this system. I really need to get in and out. Uh, get in and out of my ship just in case it, it breaks weirdly. Okay, how do you get a Atlas Pass V2? Uh, you get it from, um... Let's see. Okay, we should have some iron here, so it's not a problem. We are out of plutonium. Oh, that's concerning. Okay, yeah, I actually don't have the V2 Atlas Pass, but you get it from, um... That was weird. Okay, you get it from, um... Manufacturing facilities. Rarely. Okay, yeah, my previous ship had way better shields than this one did. Are they all dead? They're all dead. Okay. At least we see at least some of the trophium. What we saw. I think I've since lost it all. Maybe I maybe I already got it all. Alright, let's spin around for a second. I don't see any more floaty purple chunks. I really wish it was a little bit easier seeing where this stuff ended up. Alright, well, seeing as we actually have a bunch of these asteroids around here, I'm going to figure out which ones of these, if any, have aluminum in them. Oh, hey, nickel. Perfect. Not much, but maybe I'll be able to get like 50 nickel off of this. Suddenly, seems unlikely. But yeah, I can get I can get stuff like nickel out here. Uh, you know what? Chances of getting nickel? Uh, enough nickel to fix up the ship the rest of the way? Significantly increased. There we go. And we get some extra thamium for it. And iron. All of which we're gonna need. There we go. This is good stuff. Alright, can I can I fix you yet? Right, it's not nickel, it's aluminum. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. Okay. Endless Sky. I don't think I've ever actually heard of Endless Sky. I should look into it. There are too many games that I do not know about. I always try and keep on top of things, but they, they just keep coming out. Problem is I'm also very picky about, like, games visually. And so if a game's not gorgeous, I generally don't like playing it. Or at least interesting looking. I've, I've played some ugly looking games. I guess I did play Factorio. Which was... Oof. Factorio is about as ugly as they come. I don't know if we need all this copper. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna stop by the space station. Before we leave. Just in case. Let's see, what do I think No Man's Sky would need for a 10? Uh, so, that's a tall order. It's going to be a long time before No Man's Sky hits 10 out of 10 uh, levels. I mean, if they're committed to do the work, I will applaud them super hard for that. Is this all iron? This is all iron. Weird. Still nickel. We need aluminum. I mean, honestly, it really needs automation. It really needs the ability to have and manage like a fleet. I mean, honestly, if you could mush uh, Void Destroyer 2 and No Man's Sky together, you'd actually be pretty close to a perfect game in a lot of ways. I really enjoyed Void Destroyer 2, but uh, functionally, it was kind of so-so. The controls were weird, the quests were repetitive, and the game itself was not exactly what I call particularly pretty. And so all of them together make it kind of bad. But yeah, I, I think... I think No Man's Sky needs, um, fairly desperately needs stuff like, uh, I think it does actually need multiplayer, seeing as people expected it, otherwise people are just going to be disappointed. I'm flying around looking for large asteroids as well, while we're here. Uh, it needs some level of automation so you can, you can do various things. Why can't I rotate on that axis? That was weird. It needs... It needs more variety. And, like, on planets specifically. 
I've I've always been kind of grumple about how um, how No Man's Sky has like you know five different flavors of critters per planet, and it's repeated over and over and over again. And that part, I don't know that. It would be really nice to see, like, giant critters that wander around and bite me. Like, that would be cool. Let's see, silk copper, buy aluminum. The problem is, I can't find aluminum anywhere. Like, um... Most people don't sell it. And it sucks. Have I ever been on a snowy planet? I have and I haven't. I've never been on a planet that actually snows. Which is really disappointing. Oh yeah, Destiny. Yeah, the other alternative is No Man's Sky plus Destiny would be amazing. Or No Man's Sky plus, um... Uh, No Man's Sky plus, uh, Dragon Quest Builders. What's my favorite space-themed game? Oof. Uh... Do the Xenoblade games count? Nah, they're more sci-fi than anything. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. The problem is there's a lot of, like, space games, but a lot of them are kind of disappointing. Alright, uh, let's sell the Mordite. I don't need it. Oh yeah, what's this thing sell? Might have a, uh, might have a handy bit. Okay, while we were flying, I looked up Endless Sky, and the problem is, I like 3D games for exploration and stuff the top-down stuff is always no uh, has never quite appealed to me in the same way like if there was a 2d space sim game it would have to be pretty fancy for me to really want to play it and I find the top-down ones always kind of tend to be the same okay soup malfunctions oh it's the same guy I gotta remember these guys have um uh, let's see, 19, current is, alright, I'll take a new multi-tool. I gotta remember, these guys always have, uh, the chance of having a multi-tool on them. Alright, comes with grenades, uh, I'm gonna dismantle the scanner. It's got ricochet, impact damage. Wasn't there something that added homing as well? Probably does. I don't want to do short burst. Probably? Impact damage, impact damage. Homing bolt, there we go. So I do have it. I'll save that for uh, a later date when I have more, more stuff. Okay, let's see if any of any of these guys have what we're looking for. I, th I think I flew... Uh, I, I don't think this is the same system. So maybe we'll get lucky and have what we need. Nope. Unfortunately, kind of unlikely to have everything. Nope. Don't you fly away from me! There we go. <sighs> but yeah, I, I, loved, I love Destiny and No Man's Sky for Weirdly enough, like, completely opposite things. I like No Man's Sky because it has, like, kind of options and you can kind of explore and do stuff like that. And it's like this big open world, but unfortunately it ends up feeling empty really quick. And after a while you're just like, there's really just the repeated content over and over and over again. Whereas Destiny is this, like, very, very small focused game with, like, Specific dungeons that are really fun to go into and do stuff with. Oh, right. I forgot. I've already seen these. Uh, so I don't care too much. Let's check this one out. Um, and also, like, Destiny has way more interesting aliens and combat and lore behind it. And, like, if you could mush the two games together, I think that would actually be pretty close to perfect. Unfortunately, that would take an inordinate amount of work, which kind of sucks. All right. I'm going to deem it very unlikely that we're going to get what we need here. So I think I'm just going to pop in and I'll pop out. Let's see. So will I not be playing on this guy? I simply don't have time. Like, 
I'm desperately trying to finish all of these games before, uh, before the, uh, before the, the new year starts dumping new games on me. Because, more or less, uh, as we get closer to, well, I mean, as we move from 2016 to 2017 and the Steam sale goes away, a lot of games are finally going to start coming out again. Because, you know, there really haven't been a whole lot of major indie games in a while. Oh, discovered by BT Demon. Months ago. That's fun. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm desperately trying to finish all of my solo stuff before then, just because if I don't, then either I'm going to have to end series or add more and overstress myself, or I don't even know. Like, it's a, <laughs> it's kind of a nightmare. The one exception to all games, the, the main reason why I will be playing old, um, old games in any situation is if, uh, if it's multiplayer. If it's multiplayer, there's a high chance I'm probably going to play it at some point. Just because there's far fewer good multiplayer games that my friends and I, uh, you know, want to and are able to play. Uh, so, seeing as I've been talking about Destiny, I actually really like would like to do a, a full series on Destiny. And technically, I already have one. Um, unfortunately, it's, I think it stuck permanently in editing and may never come out. Um... So we might have to refilm the entire thing. Luckily, it would be actually really easy to refilm um, because my entire workflow has changed and it would be so much easier to record a second time around. Um, I think the ball is looking at me. I think it's just kind of looking at my ship. It's probably jealous. Ball doesn't get out much. Um, but, uh, yeah, so for Destiny specifically, we're just waiting on having a third. Because originally I played it with, uh, my buddy Sebastian SB. Um, and, uh, I played it with Sebastian SB and a guy by the name of Rockwar. I don't know if his channel's still active, but Rockwar is probably one of the more, hey, okay, stamina enhancement. Um... Rockwar, nice guy, very unreliable. Almost to the point of it being incredibly unreliable. Alright, so we need some plutonium here if I'm gonna want to make that. Um, and so it took us, I think, like, five months to record. Uh, and, like, we missed recording sessions left and right and stuff like that. And, uh, so ultimately... Um... Ultimately, it was one of those where we just never got around to finishing it for the most part, and we lost recordings and stuff like that. So it's probably going to be one of those where that would be something I'd like to do. I mean, heck, we're playing Grim Dawn. I think that game has been out for a while, early access for even longer, stuff like that. I don't know. It, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Over the course of my channel, I would like to actually play every, every good co-op game in existence, if at all possible, which is an incredibly tall order, but technically possible, depending on how long my channel is. Like, how long my channel lives. The weird part is, like, professionally YouTubers have only been around for, like, four years now. Uh, so there's, like, there's no, there's no evidence that this is going to be an industry that's going to last longer than, like, a decade or so. I have no idea. And so it's one of those where, um, I, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to keep up with this channel. After a certain point, maybe YouTube will die. Maybe the views will dry up. Maybe my channel will get banned. I don't know. <laughs> um, and so it's always one of those where it's just like, I have this huge bucket list of everything. And someday, either we're going to, uh, we're going to get everything that we want, or... Uh, I'm gonna have to call it quits, but I'm gonna keep trucking until that happens. Ooh, transmission tower, good stuff. Let's see, what do I think of Battlefront? I like the original two, the newest one, I don't know. Probably not gonna play the newest one, it wasn't quite what I was looking for. Anyway, start heading for that transmission tower. If I can find another, um, crashed ship, we can get the, uh, the aluminum we need. Because I should be able to rip it apart for parts. 
or a uh, very small possibility, I might even be able to get um, a ship with the, all three warp reactors. At which point I just totally uh, ditch this one for that. Small chance. Let's see, YouTube will decay, but Twitch will stay. See, I'm not actually sure about that. Um, so here's the thing about Twitch. Um, Twitch kind of sucks. Like, I like Twitch a lot. Um, but for anybody that wants to get into Twitch, the bar for entry is so incredibly high that it actually makes it very hard to be like a new channel that grows. Um, and stuff like that. Whereas, like, from my experience, YouTube is, well, initially... Ooh, I actually really dig this planet. It's very green. Uh, well, YouTube, at first, is kind of, like, weird magic and almost impossible to understand. After a certain point, you actually kind of get the hang of YouTube, and it actually becomes possible to grow an audience here. Everybody is just really angry about it because they keep changing shit, but, like, the problem is, uh, on the flip side, like, I've been streaming for two years now, and good god is it hard to get, like, a, any kind of an audience, and I know, to some degree, my setup actually makes it harder than that, um, but, like, everybody always complains about how, like, YouTube, uh, YouTube doesn't pr promote anybody or help out, like, new channels or anything like that. Twitch actively alienates anybody that's small. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, neutri neutrino module. Good stuff. Okay, um... Let's destroy all this plutonium here. We're gonna need it for reasons, because I'm totally out, actually. We got really lucky here. Let's switch this. Actually, let's just blow it up. There we go. Problem solved. Um, but yeah, everybody really likes to hate on YouTube for a lot of reasons. And to be fair, they deserve some of it. But at the same time, uh, honestly, I have a much more positive impression of YouTube. Because YouTube has, like, actively contacted me and been like, So, you know, how can we help your channel along and stuff like that? And to which I contacted them and they're like, no. And that was it. That was, that's all they ever responded with was just a straight up no. And it's like, well, alright. See you later, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. I do like the stream culture generally a little bit better on Twitch, just because most people are more used to it. But, uh, I mean, ultimately, YouTube has been way better to me across the board. And honestly, I don't see, uh, I don't see it being feasible for anybody else, um, to even come close to, uh, competing with YouTube. I know there's, like, Vidme and stuff, but I highly doubt that's actually going to do anything for anybody. Okay, so double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, sextuple. Okay, so 1440. Okay. Yeah, at some point I should probably switch uh, my restream over, so I'm actually streaming to not only YouTube and Twitch, but include uh, Hitbox and Beam. Unfortunately, I just don't know how much of a viewership there are on any of those, and also having four chat boxes open would be some kind of nightmare. Alright, uh... I don't have any particularly rare resources here. I'll keep grabbing the plutonium, because we kind of need to get our hands on that. Um... Doop -doop -doop -doop. No, it doesn't look like there's any goodies around here. Okay. A little bit of plutonium. A decent amount of plutonium. An emerald, which is not exactly that useful. You are weird-looking creatures. I really wish I could actually pull up the scanner and look for handy resources. Uh, oh, well. Nothing? Nothing. All right. 
Okay. Now, earlier I had been asked about, like, space games and stuff like that, and how Astroneer, uh, somebody rebutted that Astroneer was not a disappointment. Astroneer is not a disappointment, but it's nowhere close to done, so I'm re reserving my opinion on it fully till later. I like it a lot. I think it's, uh, cool and has a lot of potential, but honestly, No Man's Sky actually is more interesting to me right now because Astroneer is just so weird and broken right now, and it needs a little bit more. Just a little bit more, uh, to make it good. Actually, a lot more, but also it needs a lot of fixing. And bent. Man. I don't get why people just show up to streams and start spamming either. Let's see, what about racing games? I really do not play a whole lot of racing games. Honestly, I try and stay away from a lot of, uh... I try and stay away from a lot of, uh, competitive games. Uh, we really like Sonic Racing Transformed, but they desperately need to make another one with a hell of a lot more levels. Because as it stands, as much as I enjoy Sonic Racing Transformed, I have played that game to death twice over, probably. And I really don't want to do it. Uh, I, I Like, I want to play it more, but it just has too many issues for me when I play it again. I know there's, uh, what is it, Red Out or whatever? Read Out? There's another, there's another racing game that is kind of out. Oh, wait. That's a big asteroid. I'm always, uh, I will always shoot the big asteroids just in case they got aluminum for me. Copper. And Iridium. I mean, it's nice to get the Iridium and stuff. But I don't need it that much. I want aluminum. Dang it. I guess we should continue on to that crashed ship. If we're lucky, it'll actually have... Uh, if we're lucky, it'll actually have all three... Uh, all three uh, warp drives on it. Then I'll never have to get another ship. But... Uh, if we're not lucky, then it... Well, no. If we're not lucky, then we just tear the thing up and take all of its resources. Which works just as as well, actually, as far as I'm concerned. Oop. There we go. First, I thought it almost looked cool. Oh shoot! I forgot with the other crash ship earlier. Uh, we could have done the scan, couldn't have we? Whoopsie. Oh, that's fine. He's aggressive. Okay, I'll just keep my distance for a second. Uh, plutonium, plutonium. Okay, the Sentinels are pissed. We really should sit down and up my guns at some point. We'll deal with that in a second. Okay, so we've pushed away the Sentinels for a second. I don't know where that critter is, but hopefully it leaves me alone for a moment. Okay. Open the box. I think that'll teach me the thing. Okay, tech in the container. I really want to grenade him. There we go. Okay. Inventory is full. Not for long. Let's just move over the Corja uh, Corvax Convergence Cubes. Didn't realize these guys were such a good means of getting resources. Okay, here we go. What do you got in ya? Alright, so this one is garbage. Alright, so I'm gonna accept for a second. Alright, shield down is not for me. It's for my other thing. Okay, here we go. So let's come back to this one for a second. Ah, oh, this is a pain in the butt. Uh, transferring all these resources. We're not going to accept. We're going to dismantle. Hopefully we can get all the goodies before they start coming for me. Ooh. These are some good things. Is there? There's 50 aluminum. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, so this will be my ship until I can find a replacement from the other one. And look at all this stuff. No free slots in inventory. Alright, I'm gonna cancel that for a second. Ship. Balls. Okay, I really wish I could shuffle things around while we wait. Um, well, I guess I could always get rid of stuff. As needed. Okay. I could... Oh, yeah, I might even be able to fix the... Uh, no, it doesn't look like I can fix the, the things as we wait. Oh, that's okay. Anything else? I guess I'll try again. I mean, realistically, we don't need stuff like carbon. I can easily collect carbon. Thamium I'll probably keep just because it's a pain in the butt. Chrysonite, zinc, platinum. Okay. Uh, so the rest of this stuff can probably wait. Uh, let's send the nickel back because I don't need that much. We don't need the carbon. Anything else here? Dimensional matrix, maybe. Uh, I'll take the karite sheets and the microdensity fabric. Because, yeah, I don't need platinum. You know what? No. Maybe like that? Because what else could we get rid of? I guess I could get rid of the iron. Nah. This is good. Okay, here we go. How many hours have I put into this game? I don't know. Let me check. I'd say about 50. 50 hours into this game. Okay, so let's fi fix the warp reactor. Let's fix the pulse jet. And I think we've actually got a... Yep, we got a fully fixed up uh, ship for the time being. So now we can fly around the universe freely. We're l completely out of aluminum, which kind of sucks. But that's okay. I mean, I'm just satisfied to finally be at this point. Okay. Hey, this means I can go to a, a new type of, um... Let's see, what's this over here? Trading post. Do not care about that. Alright, let's stop for a second. So, here's the question. I guess I should probably scan a little bit, see if we find anything completely handy. Oh, you know what? It does actually tell me if I can find aluminum on these planets. I just never look. A lot of gold and iridium. I think I've got enough gold, though. Emerald, copper, spadonium. I could go looking for for the gold. So this one has aluminum, but we don't need aluminum immediately. Honestly. Let's... Let's see if I can free explore. So we've got an Atlas interface rather close by. Okay. Can I fly to green stars? Hyperdrive has no fuel. Dang it! Alright, well luckily I, I should be able to make warp cells, no problem. Okay. Let's continue on. That's It's right here. This one? Yes? Yeah! I can go to a green star! I've never been to one of these before. Please don't break. I'd very much like to see see what's on the other end of this wormhole, which is going to be... I mean, technically nothing new or special. Ah, but we do... we do... get an anomaly. Good stuff. Decent chance of getting something nice here. Surprised it hasn't... Uh, I haven't run across a black hole yet. I really wish the black holes in this game were more impressive. 
I mean, they're cool as they are, but I don't know. Anyway, what time is it? That's eh, about 1.30. I think this is probably a good thing. God, entering this is always cool. Okay. So what does he have? Oh, right, this guy just gives me goodies. Uh, we're gonna pause for a second. I'm not entirely sure if I can fit goodies in my inventory. I'd like to. But inventory slots are a problem. What do what else do we have room for? All right, I think think we're a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Now let's try talking to him. Why is Daft Punk in space? Eh, I mean they got bored of bringing Funk to to Earth, so they went to space, killed off one of them, and oh well, here we are. Okay, uh, let's just do resources to aid expo exploration. Do I not already have that? I actually have no idea if I already have that or not. Okay. So this guy... Hey, we've killed plenty of sentinels. Okay. Still feeling guilty about my earlier faux pas. I attempt to greet Polo with a hug. Alarm floods the Gex face and they scuttle into a corner. An awkward moment passes. Then Polo makes a conciliatory suggestion. Sentinels are the bane of our lives. As I travel, I could make a point of destroying any I encounter. We might... Then have a better understanding of the irksome machine's weaknesses, and perhaps we can, then we can be friends again too. And I've blown them up. Okay, though Polo tries to appear aloof, their eyes blaze with relief at the sight of me. They still care then. A small smile, something. Rail shot adapter. Whoo. Okay. I want this. Unfortunately, we need aluminum, so I'm gonna have to look for it. Okay. And what about this gun? Looks better. It's not better. That sucks. I wish I could, like, pull the same cheese by, like, uh, salvaging the stuff from it internally. No dice, though. Okay. <laughs> Shell is currently hanging out in my chat, complaining about how its stars should not be green. Shh, it's okay. Alright, so I'm gonna start scan pulsing for things. 